Hi, I'm Dr. Max, and we're here today at Hair by Dr. Max Restoration Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm here today with Sergio, um, who first came here around uh, nine months ago to schedule a procedure uh, for hair restoration in the frontal area. Um, he had some early uh, hair loss uh, related to androgenetic causes. We uh, perform an FUE procedure with 1800 grafts. One of the challenges uh, when we talk about hairline design is to make sure everything looks natural, right? So me as a hair right. transplant surgeon, if I see you randomly walking on the street, I will not guess you had a hair transplant. Right. That's the idea. <laughs> yes. And I think we kind of uh, accomplished yeah. that, right? I think that looks very good. Yes. Uh, I think the biggest concern I have when I, when I came here, and I, I have done so much research before finding you, mm -hmm. It's the, the natural because you have so many people advertising uh, so many hairs, but uh, what about the way it looks? So it was very important to me that it would look uh, natural, especially because we did some hairs on the side yes. and I like to keep it short. So um, I'm very happy. And one thing that drew me to you is that you actually did the procedure yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that gave me um, confidence on the procedure. Yeah, that's, that's great to hear. And in regards to hairline design, is again, there are certain principles that we have to follow. It's not only we just uh, insert the hairs and they grow, it's uh, direction, uh, um, density in certain, certain areas and uh, angles are very important, okay? We need, it has to blend naturally with your existing hairline. The way it blends with, but, uh, yes. with the natural mm -hmm. hair that I have. Right. And uh, um, even when it gets wet, the, that was the, the worst part for me, you know, getting the hair mm -hmm. wet and then you, you have the one area where you, you see the empty area and now you don't have the problem anymore. Right. So here just to uh, give you a comparison, that's what it was uh, before and what, that's what we can see today. And um, we'll show you a close okay. up. So as you can see, the hairline looks completely natural. It is irregular, has macro, micro irregularities. The sides or temporal areas look good. As I always say, uh, do your research before you decide on any hair restoration procedure, right? That's what you I definitely you recommend. I mean, do your research and uh, go talk to the doctor. You know, you gotta have the conversation to give you the confidence. And uh, I think that that was the best, the best part of it. You know, when I came here, you know, explain the procedure, um, you listen to my concerns, and uh, I think that gave me a lot of confidence also. And of course, now seeing the results, I'm happy because you're still, you're still anxious uh, for the first couple months after the procedure, but uh, seeing the results now, I'm really happy. Yeah, but it's actually important to mention, at nine months, it's not the final result. So you're gonna see a little bit more, probably 20% more okay. hair growth over the upcoming uh, uh, three or four months, this is normal, okay? So, and occasionally it takes up to a year and a half to see the finals, but when we, when we see so much improvement, at this time, it gives us a lot of uh, um, reassurance that everything went perfect. Right, I agree. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. Mm -hmm.